second do we get the proper host here i mean oh my god just start my countdown was lagging so i don't know if that's um that's a good indication oh. of the fucking how this game's gonna go but uh it is what it is uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. okay fucking tyler oh oh, oh oh okay ryan you were just doing the fucking electric slide so okay let's just do this again you host Bernie. i'll i'll host Actually, Tyler, you have good internet, don't you? you no, can't he doesn't. Join me. He does not have good internet. Okay, well, never mind then. Did your stream die, or are you still streaming? Oh, I canceled it and deleted it because he said something that should oh. be said already. <laughs> Oh, you, what did you he say? Again? What did he say? Actually, here, do you want me to wait? Do you want me to wait until you're good? I'll just turn this back up. Okay, Tyler, just. Just for, just, for, just for one one session of recording, <laughs> just try not to say anything offensive <laughs> or anything that's going to get the video taken down or flagged or fucking copyrighted. Anything anything along those lines. Just think about what you're going to say and then say what you're going to say. Yeah, it's not working. It's not working? No, because we're connected yeah. to Tyler. Oh, yeah. Tyler is Tyler? just a plague on everybody's internet it's not you not it's, it's not you it's just your internet my internet's not even that bad i'm not the one causing the problems oh, i know it's just the internet's just fucking random sometimes yeah ryan you're kind of lagging balls no you're not are you i, I don't know yeah i am which is stupid are your character is doing, not, your character's doing the funky chicken what left because there's no point playing a game that you can't even play well that kind of fucking sucks Let's do a, uh, a one room only challenge. Let's not do that. So don't kill him. Ah! Ah! Why would you? Are you Tyler? What? Were you dropped as a kid, man? Why did you open the bottom door? What are you talking about? Why? Who opened? You know, you know who opens the bottom doors? Betas. Listen here, mister. Apparently I'm an alpha now. I didn't say I was an alpha, but I'm just saying that's big beta energy if you open okay, the bottom well, open door. Okay, well, open that door, mister. Mr. Um, well, mister I, what? Mr. what? Just say that... it. There you go. See the boxes here. If we went through the bottom, we probably would have died. That's what I want, though. Why do you want to die? I want you to die. I don't, I don't know what I did to you, but I, I didn't mean to do it. I did something. It all started the day I was born. It wasn't there the day you were born. Don't use me as your emotional outlet. I want to fly to Calgary with with just, your dog. Just 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 drop where I live. So I mean, if somebody tries to drone bomb my house now, I mean that's on you. So you're welcome. In a scenario that uh, that's a you're going to fucking you're going prison to for manslaughter place. scenario. Okay, you should come closer to me, or else this profit sharing is useless. Okay. Kind of hard seeing close to you. You're going all over the place. Well, I'm sorry that Lightning McQueen like fucked my mother, and now I'm like all speed. Child. <laughs> I don't know how that relates. Um, <laughs> stamina? That's pretty good. I hate that stupid perk. Stamina. Yeah, I hate it. Why? It's stupid. Why? Why is it stupid? What's the use for it on Kino? Have you played train. Kino before? You train on the stage or in the spawn room. I've never, I've never needed. I don't necessarily never... need it, but it's extremely useful. It's yeah, and then I'll, I'll let, you, I'll let, I'll, yeah, I know you guys fucked you. I'll let you and Ryan, uh, Ryan re record some, and then I'm just gonna go kill myself or something. That was, that's what, that's what we were hoping for. I kind of got to cut that out of the video now, because six years down the line, if I'm in YouTube drama. <laughs> Then, who cares? Uh, who I'll cares? say, I'll yeah, say, fucking... that's how we used to talk back then. But people would use that against me. They'd be like, hey, he said he was gonna fucking kill this guy. If I spoke against it, then it should be invalid. True, but then they're gonna twist that and be like, you know what? He was in on it. He wanted to die. And he was promoting manslaughter. I would be like, excuse me, did you just um, call it manslaughter? Did you just assume my gender? Damn. Now that's, I'll pull that's that an Uno Reverso. Okay, I got stamina up again. I'm never using the Wonder Fizz again. Ryan, you should make your own uh, destroying lip tart videos. Call it Mini Shap. Mini Shap? <laughs> Mini Shap. No, you know what you gotta do? Make story time videos about you and like uh, leftist comp 
confrontation at school. Dude, one of those videos, remember that guy was like, I, I eat a picture of PewDiePie every day until he replies. Eat a picture yeah. of Ben Shapiro. Until he replies, and then he calls you a moron for eating a picture of Ben Shapiro every day. Oh, he's probably gonna praise him. He's gonna be like, I wanna this, see it. this is why the right is the best. The best. Constitution. You don't see women eating tampons, you know, but 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 you can definitely see Ryan eating pictures of Ben Shapiro. I could see him kind of like cutting up a piece of like a picture of Ben Shapiro and putting it in his ice cap. Pet. <laughs> Pet. I see him like cutting out a picture of Ben Shapiro from like the newspaper going down to his basement and you know his like closet or whatever under the from stairs. The there's a bunch of lit there's a bunch of lit candles and like the tables all waxed up and everything, you know? And uh Jesus. Um... It's, like a, it's a satanic ritual kind of like shit going on. And he's just like please please Makes please it. That's your Shapiro, next video please. how to summon Ben Shapiro. How to summon Ben Shapiro <laughs> I would watch that. I would watch that. I want some of that. No, 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 no. How to summon a right wing or, or something. Check your phone. Check my phone. Phone's not on me. Is it important? Yeah, Can't so find my phone. Mandatory. It's when it was mandatory. Well, Tyler's going to have to protect me if it's fucking mandatory. Well, that's that can be better reset. Jesus Christ, it is. What does he need? A fucking heart transplant? I can't I can't really fucking do anything. Yes, it does. So, how was how your day, Tyler? Pretty decent. Tyler, you're not giving me a lot to work with here. Okay, I, th I think we have a very nice back and forth comedy little thing we got going on, and you're not giving me anything. Oh, uh, well, let uh, me think. I, I I'm trying to focus on not dying. It's not that hard. It's a little, it's a little difficult, bro. Man, I need premium content so I can make YouTube money. I thought I thought you, you want should. premium content and go on a porn hub and go go buy premium. I, I could, but I. You know what, man? I could just find the video on another site. I don't need to go on premium for that shit. True XX Hamster actually has a lot of like fucking really good porn video. Hamster, I know. I, like, do I, you know who Phoenix Marie is? Mm, no, I don't. Um, Hamster, really? I don't know. I just that one. X Hamster X and X. I don't know why they just chose um, hamsters. I, I've just never. Don't forget I've Spank just, Bang. I've just, That's a real site. Cause I, I I I'm pretty picky when it comes to like my porn. Like I'll almost watch any video with Phoenix Marie in it, but like. I once saw a video of her and like whipped cream and it became like one of my favorites. Is that the title of like a yeah, an actress or one, an actor, one other or girl? That, like do you mean the literal no, like, the condiment? I, I mean, can I, whipped cream even be considered a com like a condiment though? Well, like you, really? Well you put it on stuff, right? Yeah, you put it on stuff, but I mean you can also have it by yourself and you don't see anybody eating ketchup or mustard by themselves, do you? You Not know only what? Fucking I mean, psychopaths I like Ted Bundy kind of kind of people. Like that's that's who I, do that. I think people, I think there are people out there that eat ketchup, like, and mustard on their own. I think there are. You know, I, the world is a very unpredictable place, and I think that, I don't think it would surprise me if I saw somebody, you know, with, a, like, a handful of ketchup and a handful of mustard, and they were just going at that shit. Did you, did you actually just take the teleporter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, why? Why did the dog go to the teleporter? I decided to let you deal with the dogs. Are you Here, kidding me right now? <laughs> I mean, like, it's, it's, it's... I'm watching you run around just a bunch of fucking dogs on the Why stage. Why you leave me this. with the dogs, man? That's... Oh my god, what I the mean... hell? Oh my god. What? Look at them, they're all in the teleporter. They're all trying to go for you. Because dogs are, like, assigned to certain players. Oh my god. Oh. And all... Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, no. Oh, they're all... They were all at the teleporter. That was pretty funny. Oh, no. Um, it is round I don't know, 15. I kind of, I kind of brought up, I kind of brought up the fact that I kind of wouldn't mind moving in with Evan because he is financially um, good with, like, he's good with money. That and is such a great story, and I really just, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, but I'm kind of dead. You okay. Hey, okay. I got. Oh, shit, 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 oh shit, my God, shit. Tyler! No, 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 no! Don't get me if you're low health. We're Don't. Fine. Oh my god. Um, that was my fault. Uh, I got clipped on the stairs there. And you know what? I kind of didn't think there'd be this many zombies on Rapid. Oh my god. 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 Oh. There's a fuck ton. Okay, this is bad. 
Uh, yep, we're dead. We're not dead. Where are you at? Can you crawl, t crawl to the closest you can to the theater or to the to like the the makeup area? I'm in the teleporter, man. I literally can't. Oh god. Okay, well I have quick revive, so I'll be able to get you. You're good. Oh, okay. Ah! Whoa! Um, that was close. They're all chasing you. That's kind of fine. Oh, it's a Max Ammo City, so yes. Ow. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Why did you just sneeze like you're a fucking character from Wayside, buddy? Like... Dude, I always sound like that when I sneeze. <laughs> Dude, blast furnace is not really that good, man. You think the next uh, next Black Ops game is gonna have? I heard it's gonna have zombies. Like that's a that's a fact. Black Ops Five. I didn't even consider being a thing. I mean, Black Ops 4 kind of flopped, didn't it? It's like, it's a soft rebranding. Oh I would kind of like it if it had zombies, but I don't, I don't know. Black Ops 4 zombies, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe it's just because I like Black Ops 3 zombies so much. But I just, yeah. I had fun with Black Ops 4 zombies for like, oh, like two weeks. And then I just kind of like stopped playing it. I just, it just was kind of dry. I, I was kind of like into it for like the story, you know? Yeah, that's kind of something I wasn't really a fan of. I just kind of think the story in Black Ops 3 was already kind of getting like it was just... a nice touch that's what I like it was it wasn't it wasn't necessary no it wasn't but it it, 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 it was a nice touch to have you know no, honestly it, like, an Easter egg. in my opinion a zombie storyline isn't even really necessary because no, like it, it isn't that's the thing that's the thing thing about the storyline it is not necessary there's no need for it yeah it's the reason there is one is is just like the icing on the cake essentially right like it's it's it's, it's just kind of there so that way hmm. it just adds a little bit of extra flavor for some other people it it you know because not everyone's gonna like vanilla some people are really gonna dig chocolate yeah so you gotta get the best of both worlds um i agree but at the same time I think having a storyline kind of restricts what maps you want to do and what maps you want to make because, you know, like, okay, cool, you have the storyline and all, but what if you want to make um, a zombies map about, like, four knights that were, like, a part of the, the round table, right? You can't really... Well, they did that with uh, Black Ops 4. No, but I'm talking about, like, that, like, four knights that are completely unrelated to the story, and they're just, like, four, yeah. four completely new characters, right? Um, but you can't really do that. I fucking hate this game. Because, I yeah, mean, okay. you know, that's not connected to the story, so people are going to be like, what the hell? So I feel like you kind yeah. of back yourself into a corner in a sense, but it's not horrible. Like the mod, obviously, I like Black Ops Three Zombies. Well, there's gonna be pros and cons to everything that game developers do. You know, there, there is. Yeah. Storyline just makes it. Everybody more has death. their kind of like. Everyone has a vision of their perfect game. Oh yeah. Whoa. You know, like. Yo. Boys. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't know. What would, what would be your perfect game? Well, my perfect game. I already got my perfect game. It was an Assassin's Creed game set in pirate and pirate eras, man. My. So perfect. when people ask me like my opinion on Assassin's Creed, I'm actually I, I I actually can't give them my opinion because I'm a biased source. Yeah. You're just like you're trying to be objective about it, but at the same time you're like this game is the best game that ever that was ever created. At the same Disney. time, I like Assassin's Creed 4, not for the story. Let's go back okay. punch, by the way. Get up because here. you know, like the story was it, it was it was good, but not good. You know, like you didn't become an assassin until like the very end of the game. You know, and it's, the game's called Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's like this whole Assassin's Creed Valhalla shit. It's just you're not. It just it's not Assassin's Creed to me. I don't. Uh, yeah, you know with Valhalla though, that's another thing, right? I didn't. I didn't. They didn't need to do a game set in the Viking era. No. They didn't even need to do a game set in the Spartan era. No. You know, when Odyssey first came out, I'm like, okay, cool. You know. Yeah. As long as I get a hood and like a hidden blade or something, you know, make me yeah. feel like an assassin. As long as there are assassins, like you know, uh, like assassin elements. Like Origins was perfect, okay, because it it was the birth of the creed. Yeah. It, well, it wasn't like it was. Well, it yeah. was the kind of like the birth of the creed. Yeah. There's but, a lot you can do with that. Um, in terms the way of they that. handled AC Origins is a lot better than than how they handled Odyssey. Because what they did at the end of Odyssey was they tried to connect Origins and Odyssey by making, making um, 
am you uh, like a descendant of uh, of the main character Aya. I don't know, you know either of those characters. Okay, well Aya is just like I'm pretty. I'm not 100 percent sure. Like it's highly inferred, and it like what Assassin's Creed was and what Assassin's Creed is today is completely two different games. Oh yeah, 100 percent. Um, like. And you can kind of see where the decline of the series kind of like set off, and it was right after AC4. Yeah, I... But that, it wasn't because, it, like... You died on dog rounds, by the way. You have to live with that for the rest of your life. Just putting it out there. Oh, yeah, I was talking to you. But anyway, but like, when you really think about, like... Well, what makes an Assassin's Creed game? Let's, let's try to define that. Well, you know what? Okay, I think it's like Resident Evil, because I'm not going to say that the Assassin's Creed games, the new ones are bad because they're not like Assassin's Creed, because I loved Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6, even though they didn't have elements that the original Resident Evil games did. The new ones are bad is because they changed the formula so much that you can't even recognize Assassin's Creed anymore. That's the thing, but like as long as they're, I don't know, my opinion... You know what? Like they, 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 you know they, what? Like, no, even Resident Evil. I mean, even Resident Evil. The the base aspect is horror. You know, characters going through horror elements and you know monsters and BOWs and shit. But Assassin's Creed, it's about Assassin's Creed. You know, assassinating people. You know, be, like being well, an assassin. It's, it, 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 it's more about like the everlasting story, like like the battle between Templars and assassins. You know, the the battle for freedom or or freedom. It's it, it's it's a game based on perspective. Because you know, if you see both uh, both perspectives, you know, uh, you you see them on every Assassin's Creed game. Well, you know, they 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 literally have a game based uh, where where you know the, you play as the bad guy, you play as a Templar. But you know, you don't feel like you're playing the bad guy in that game because you aren't because it's all about perspective. Well, yeah, but I mean that's also because I mean you're playing as the person. But I, I see what you're saying. Like, I mean, is this Assassin's Creed Valhalla about, it's like, Templars and shit? Or what? I didn't see a hood. I didn't, like, I, I, I saw a hood, but I'm pretty sure it was Zeus from what Evan believes it was. Oh. I have my own thoughts about that. But, like, I just, I just, I, and I, it sucks because I, I'm, I used to be such a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. Like, I really did, too. You know, like I would. You should have seen how hyped I was after, like, to like see the first trailer for AC4. Like when I saw Blackbeard sitting, like, man, my face lit up like a fucking. Oh. Back to perfect games, though. I think there's this game that was that was released only in Japan. It's called City Shrouded in Shadow, and it's about giant monsters attacking this fictional city in Japan. But the thing is, like, you play as humans that are trying yeah. to escape the city, but the thing is... It's... Is it an indie game? Or no! Is it like... It's like, it's like an actual title. game. It is an actual game. It has Ultraman, Godzilla, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Evangelion... I don't know how to fucking pronounce it. Scott Gamera. It's... Dude. When I saw it, I was like, where is this game right now? And, like, you can get... You can buy it on, on eBay and Amazon shit so i'm pretty sure that's on my hit list yeah even though the entire game is in japanese so i won't i won't know what they're saying i'll just kind of have to let's talk about the perfect cod game Ooh, now that's perfect cod game well i don't really know if my opinion can can benefit this topic because our our opinions can almost validate this topic because we are kind of in the perspective of uh of the gen z's you know, because because we we were born you know around the 2000s, okay. You know, and uh, the first Call of Duty game I played, you know, I got um, Black Ops was out with the first or second DLC pack out, because I was there for the the shitty map at the end, the stadium or not the stadium one, the fucking um, the really shitty one. You, you know the one I'm talking about is in the final DLC map pack? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, I'm pretty sure. I think the perfect Call of Duty game for me, as of right now, is Black Ops 1. Because, not, I mean, Black Ops 1 obviously set up a legacy, right? That's going still till today, you know, Black Ops 4 and all. Possibly Black Ops 5. But, you know, the multiplayer's good, the story is good, and the zombies is good. So, I mean, in Black Ops 1? Yeah, Black Ops 1. Mm. So, you know, I can't really think. I mean, Black Ops 2 is the same thing, but again, Black Ops 2 was kind of going off of Black Ops 1 in terms but of. But we have to we have to give an award to the founding father of Black Ops 1 though, which was World at War. 
Without World of War, we wouldn't even have zombies. True, but I mean, I mean it was it was in its virgin state in World of War. It wasn't really as. Oh no, it wasn't like it wasn't the zombies we know today. That happened when Doris was it was like announced. I mean, in like, you know. but the perfect COD game in general, World of War. I mean, I didn't play much of World of War, but I mean, like... We couldn't, we couldn't, because by the time we got our hands on World of War and we were able to play multiplayer, the fucking, the, ha the servers were full of hackers. True. And, you know, I did think the multiplayer in Black Ops was better than World of War, and I think the story was better than World of War. Even though World of War's story was good, I think Black Ops' story was a lot. It had, it was more impactful. So you know, I think that's the perfect part. What do you think? I think that's I, the perfect card game. I I liked I loved Black Ops 2. Oh yeah, same. Black Ops 2 was like the second most perfect. The only reason I say Black Ops like, 1 that's, is that's because... kind of an instant classic to me, you know, Black Ops 2. It, it continued the storyline. I'm not a, I don't give a fuck about the storyline like in Call of Duty games. I don't think anybody really does. <laughs> it, when but, it's like, good, they, when it's good you do, but when it's bad you don't care yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know. when it's good, when it's good, when it's good. And Black Ops 2 was good. It had a great storyline. Yeah, exactly. Because because they built off Black Ops 1 storyline, you know, instead yeah. of instead of having Mason, you know, we have Mason's son. And it's it's 10 it's 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 in the future. What do you think's the worst Call of Duty game? The worst Call of Duty. The worst Call of Duty game. You know what? Worst Call of Duty game? Okay, and we're not counting fucking I Call of Duty for the can't DS say and ghosts. shit. Like we can't we can't I don't know how to oh. feel about ghosts because I didn't play a lot of ghosts. I didn't mind ghosts. But I didn't mind it either when I was playing it, but I mean... I don't think it's horrible, but I just, it didn't... They had a really piss-poor, like, zombies rip-off. The extinction, which we kind of had to deal with until Black Ops 3 came out. I think that if those dates add up, but like... Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot about that. And the multiplayer wasn't necessarily bad, it just didn't add anything. It just felt dry. It, it, it looked dry, it, it was just static, you know, it didn't really provide anything yeah new. yeah okay i got you but that's kind of yeah i think that's well i don't want to say ghost though because i do i do an easy target like mm -hmm. ghost is an easy target because everyone hated ghosts for some reason like it wasn't the best call of duty game by any means but at the same time that it deserve all the hate that it that it deserved i don't think so maybe not all of it but a lot of it was it wasn't you know, looking back on it, it was, was not as bad as people say it is or as but like if we compare ghosts to games that have come out since then like infinity war yeah <laughs> for example you know like infinity, infinity war garbage oh yeah no infinity, infinity yeah. warfare yeah. i don't even i didn't even touch that because they went too far in the future oh yeah no it was okay, just because it was an uh, it was an un realistic vision of the future yeah exactly and nobody wants to see that people at the time wanted oh my god <laughs> people at the time, people at the time, they, they, you know, when you're, like, how many video games do you see take place, it take place in Renaissance Italy, you know? That's true, because, Renaissance Italy you know, you know why I think, mind. because I think it's easier, because I think if, say, going by your example, if you're doing a game by the Renaissance, you have to do just, just an ungodly amount of research about, like, the times of the Renaissance, because, you know, people are gonna be fucking nitpicking the shit out of that, being like, oh, this isn't accurate, oh, yeah. right? But then you, when you're dealing with a future game, it's sort of just like, you can do whatever you want, because it hasn't happened yet, and people aren't gonna be able to nitpick it. Yeah, I yeah, think exactly. that's why it's you know? such an attractive uh, route to take. Not to mention Western culture is a lot more, you know, like, it's, it's... You, know, you know what, that's a, that's a whole other conversation that we can get into, but I don't know about, like, right now. <laughs> The fact no, that today, yeah. there's so many games, like like the game I was telling you about, City Shrouded by Shadow, I had no idea that game existed because it wasn't released in North America, but I would love the shit yeah. out of that game. In movies, too. You know? There was a Nightmare Before Christmas game. Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, Drew. Move! I'm dead. <sighs> and it wasn't, sold in, uh, it wasn't sold in Canada. That was a good game. Yeah, very good, actually. But you know what? <laughs> As you were saying... Or as I was saying, I don't really remember. Um, yeah, it just kind of sucks that we kind of have to... Well, we're restricted in a sense. You know, with the power of the internet and all these new media technologies, we can, you know, we can get games that haven't been released in North America.
but it's yeah, way like harder. Yeah, using emulators and shit like that. True, or you just fucking buy them off Amazon and shit like that. Oh, yeah, you fucking could, man, but, like, no one's gonna be buying video games off Amazon. We can get them free. I'm about to be buying video games off Amazon. <laughs>